All right, we're gonna call her right now, and I'm gonna put her on speakerphone. Let's hope she doesn't say a naughty word. Hello, Miss Carl. Hi, Rhonda. I got some bad news. You ready? Oh, I am. Okay. They sold it to somebody else. Right out from underneath you. They didn't. Yep. It's RV inspection day, and today we're in Fruitland Park, Florida, about to inspect this gorgeous Jayco Pinnacle 38 FBRK. Now stick around. We know our customer has great faith in us. She's home. She has her fingers crossed that we find nothing. We've got our fingers crossed. We find nothing. Cross your fingers too. We're going to update you at lunch and the end of the day. All right, first glimpse. Customer came here a couple of times. She's pretty anal, she's learned what to look for. She even communicate with us. So this slide out up here, this front slide out, she felt like the bottom didn't seal. And now we just showed up this morning. Eh, that's not the picture she sent me yesterday. So we'll see how it goes because guys could have pushed it in or something and we're actually gonna make it work for real. So that was her big dilemma that she's been seeing. She even came here with a humidity tester and bears the crap out of them. So that was funny. Okay, so enough about this slide. I wanna bring a topic and let's go on the other side. So for you out there that look at the endorsement program and wonder, what is this? Yes, you, all the inspectors watching because I know a crap load of you are watching. And if you don't get enticed or excited by details that you know you weren't taught in school, this is what we at Blue Ox did and, and we're trying to strive to even get better. So on top of what you know, how I am and how we are, a couple of us, we're looking for people. Yes, I'm talking about you. We're looking for people who actually have an intent and an ethic of being professional and want to help the industry, the RV industry by itself to get better and to help the customer. And by helping the industry and the customer, we're actually gonna help the dealership to up their game of the product that they have to deal with when they receive it. I'm not gonna blame them. They receive this kind of quality. So if you're one of them that have an interest to become better, to aim further, we together work as a team. You don't work for an umbrella. You keep your own business. We as a group form these workshop to fast forward the quality that we intend. So enough of the endorsement for people that are not interested. Let's go back to our inspection. So the first thing that I see on this side, so come on this side because I know you're going to say, well, okay, what is this all about? Well, see, for me, I see those goo. I see, why was there sealant installed here? And you can see on the wall that it's been splurged out. All right, so the first thing I did this morning, that was my first intrigue, is I opened this door and I'm looking at, okay, I got a crap load of water down here that is puddling here. So that's okay. You know, it happens. That's why there's a seal. So imagine if this wasn't sealed at one point and it went in this base of this refrigerator. I hope we didn't have any water going in there. So is that why, and this is brand new, is that why that they already put some sealant on there? So it's just those little things that I want you to check when you're visiting your stuff as I'm eyeing all kind of stuff. So. Well, let's go see what Lowell has inside. So come on in. Let's see my stone go. You're not going to go very far. You're absolutely not going to get to your refrigerator. So make sure to pack your lunch in your truck when you're driving. But you do have access to the half bath, which is fantastic. So you can just be in your own germs. And if you want to go to bed, because you have access to your bedroom. Speaking of beds, that is a cement bed. So let me just... All right, lunchtime recap. Right up here is a screw in that bracket, topped off. So see, you can't blame the dealer. This is the manufacturer. So if somebody snapped the screw, I'm out of here. It's quarter to five. It's 2.30. It's 10. I don't care, I'm out of here. They're gonna have to drill it out and figure it out. See, that's the sad part sometimes that dealer will have to deal with this kind of stuff and it's not up there doing. So the other problem that I have is, again, 
not the manufacturer's fault. It's a supplier's fault. So I got two jacks like this. Just to give you an idea, see how they leak. So when you see your jacks leaking like this, I got one on this side, one on the other side. So those two jacks, they'll just change and they'll take two minutes. And I'm sure they got jacks on hand because it happens more than one. We gotta understand this. This is pretty flawless. This is March of 2024 construction. We're just at the beginning of May. It just got done, just got delivered. Everything got laid off in Elkhart and neighborhood Indiana. So are they making an effort now? I think they do and they are. And if we participate in the well-being of the industry by putting them on call or on accountability, well, good for us. So that's it for me. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to go in the basement after lunch. I'm going to do the undercarriage. But I think that we're in for a good go. I know we had the issue with the slide out in the front that the customer was kind of leery. And there's about an eighth of an inch of tolerance that I don't know how and what they're going to do and if they're going to even want to help her out. That's why her and I will have a conversation. But for me at this point, it would be the all right here's the observation but i think that you'd still be okay because it's not as twisted as i thought that it was when she sent me that picture so now lunch time's done let's go check what lowell has for us on the inside maybe on the inside they were working in february or january of last year and it's all piece of crap i don't know let's go check it out Oh gosh, you caught me. Oh, oh, hey, it's lunchtime recap. All I can say is that this is such a beautiful RV. I have found so much. No, I haven't. Really, if you're looking for drama, today's not your day. All I'm gonna say is that couch is super comfy. No, I haven't been napping. Honestly, I have been working. I've done a lot. I've got half my day done and I have nothing, zilch, absolutely nothing to tell you about. Jayco, I don't know what Pierre's finding on the outside and if you hear noise, it's because I'm doing the dishes right now. Yes, that is the dishwasher going. Jayco, on the inside, I am so impressed, super happy. What is that noise? What's that, beep beep? What is that BB? Did you see the lights? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. I know what it is. I'm talking to Jayco. I'm not kidding. Turn around and go up there. Jayco, turn the lights back on. Thank you. Wow, okay. That's funny. It's like he's listening. Shh. Jayco, turn the lights off. He didn't hear me. It's a typical man. They only listen when they want to, right? But honestly, I'm so happy inside here today. I can't wait to get my water done this afternoon because I'm really hoping that I don't even have a water leak, which would be amazing to tell you that. So anyways, that's my lunchtime recap. All right, so don't say anything. We're gonna pull a little prank on our customer. Shh, we're gonna call her, don't tell her. All right, we're gonna call her right now and I'm gonna put her on speakerphone. Let's hope she doesn't say a naughty word. Hello, Miss Laurel. Hi, Rhonda. I got some bad news. You ready? Oh, I am. Okay, they sold it to somebody else. Right out from underneath you. They didn't. Yep. Pierre and I, we're buying it. Oh my gosh, we're buying it. It's not yours, Rhonda. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to let you know. So we're going to have our lunch. Can we eat lunch inside now that it's ours? Or do we have to eat out in the Jeep? I feel as if you don't even have to ask permission to eat lunch in your own RV. Right? That's what I was thinking. So, well, great. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you at the end of the day. You're an awful human being. You know that with your sweet, peppy, with your sweetest, peppiest voice, you delivered that information to me, and that is very, very scoundrelish of you. We, we love you, Rhonda. <laughs>
I love you guys too. I am um, heading into a meeting, a one-on-one with a staff member. I'll probably be 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. So I'll be around if you need me. If you text me, I can break away. Okay. Don't you worry. We're not going to need you. We'll look forward to talking to you at the end of the day. I like the pep in your step right now. Me too. She's giving me one in mind. Me too. Super excited. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Don't shut that off. So see, see what happens? It was just fun. We had to do that. Rhonda, we love you. See you at the end of the day. All right, end of the day recap. Physically, mechanically, everything looks flawless. I think this is the pinnacle. You see the, the pinnacle of any fifth wheel we've done other than ours. Ours was close to perfect. Well, except for the wall in the back that was moving, that was going back and forth that I had to fix, uh, except for the water heater that was leaking. Um, um, this is the pinnacle of every fifth wheel so far. This is beautiful, it's amazing, it's well built. March 2024 and we're in May 2024. Did I talk to you about that already? Okay, so that might have something to do with it. You know all the layoffs that happened in Elkhart, Indiana? That's where those are built. Just saying, the ethic might have to come back quickly. So battery, propane, no gas leak. I mean, anything and everything. It, it's pretty much top notch. As long as I try to show you, this customer loves this. Whatever item sells you, for her, it was this water distribution. And I know Pinnacle have a lot of that, but for me, it's other thing, like this access. For me, this access is pretty cool because I can go right in the back. I can go check my converters, my inverter, my transfer switch. This is all ready for propane. And then I can check everywhere and everything. Typically, I have to unscrew the wall and go behind there. So that is a nice feature. I like that. And I like that even for an owner. Your valves are down there. You can access stuff easily. So I think if everything is kind of thought out. And we can kind of feel at home when we're inside because this is exactly the floor plan we had, exception of the rear kitchen itself. And that's where we were going. And as you may know, whoever follows us, and if you don't, it's time for you to subscribe. We have our story in there. We used to have something similar. Physically, my problem that I have with this, the only physical problem I would say this afternoon is the tires. You got four Uniroyal tires. And the spare tire is Rainier. Rainier has those little Chinese scripture, you know, those little tic-tac-toe thing that you and I can't understand. I can't understand backwards or forwards. So, so that's with the spare tire. And they put the spare tire upside down and up to the floor. So you can't even check how much air is in there. So that's my only major thing that they'll have to take it down and put the right amount of air or at least turn it around so you can actually have access to your valve stem. Other than that, we had the leaking leg as you've seen earlier. So just to tell you, by the way, I know we have a link below, snap pads for us. That is awesome. That is one size. You have another size on the four other ones. They I'm sure you're wondering what size snap pads you need for your rig. The easy thing to do is to go right online. They have a nice little quiz. You can put in what size rig you have and they recommend the size snap pad that you need. They offer all kinds of things and for me, it's nice because if you go to boondocking, you go to churches or anywhere where people are fancy about their driveway and stuff, you can actually lay those down and they come with you all the time. That's what I like about snap pad. All right, I'm going to leave you on this note. You've got to realize that people have an agenda. Salespeople in particular. And not that it's for your well-being, necessarily. So I want you to stop being afraid. It's not like you're going to be raided and have to pass the end of the year last test. You don't owe them nothing. Remember, they have an agenda. They need to sell something. A car salesman, a boat salesman, an RV salesman. So you've got to understand the approach they have. Even if 95% of people who work in here, in this dealership for instance, don't even own a camper. And they know because 
There's a lot on this and I got to work seven days a week because we always have to work on those. So we love this lifestyle. We work to have this RV industry be nice to us and stop taking advantage of people. So that's our goal and that's why we try to do these videos. We try to endorse people. We try to get this industry at a, at a next level. Hey, people who want to buy bottom of the line and spend as least possible money as they can let them be i'm okay we're not talking to them we're talking to the other ones no no, no not you the other one on that note let's go check what we'll have inside so it's the end of the day and i've got to tell you i'm really excited for our customer jayco i'll give it a nine out of ten for me on the inside i've got nothing huge but i'm going to show you what they have to feature here they have some really cool things right so they got this little spice caddy to go right here above the uh, microwave but check out this pantry it is amazing you've got this great pantry for storage but you've got another pantry over here next to the refrigerator and it's solid guys this is not flimsy whimsy so i love this rear kitchen not only that you could see we had two little pieces of recliner they actually go right here and make a nice sectional couch that is super comfy pulls out into a bed so you've got some extra sleeping arrangements but also the kitchen table opens now the one little thing i did find today was that the cover to the chair had a little rip in it and underneath it had a little gouge in the chair okay what are they going to do i don't know and then right here there's a little bit of sticky stuff here on the side of the wall again this is really minor you've got this half bath with a ton of storage which i absolutely love a lot of places to put your linens and towels and then coming up into the bedroom huge storage underneath the bed but i love the barn doors and i'm going to tell you these barn doors are solid which is great but all the storage underneath this bed is phenomenal right so they've got extra chairs your vacuum cleaner and everything that's under there which is fantastic and that mattress yes it is a cement pad mattress then coming through here i mean you've got the tv you've got extra storage on each side of the tv you've got your bureau which bada bing bada boom a little bit of extra storage underneath there which is great but then the best part coming into this front bathroom this shower stall is huge right i mean hey i think three or four of us could fit in here what do you think as far as the height 73 inches so six foot one and under you're going to be fine if you're a little taller well duck your head coming out you've got both sinks here for your lavatory area but look at this look at this closet now i'm going to tell you this is a favorite a great place to put shoes or extra little things and all to the sides and places to hang all your clothes i absolutely love this floor plan super excited for our customer so i want to just leave you on this note right here roads are meant for journeys not destinations so remember and do never forget